Tell Mr. Pallone his company owes us $1,200 for repairs we have already done. Yes, I will hold. Matt, would you like eggs or cereal for breakfast? Today's topic, resolved. Cereal is a better choice for breakfast than eggs. First, I will define my terms. Eggs will mean, well, eggs. And cereal will mean, ooh, cereal. <laughs> Miss Wagner says I have to practice all the time if I want to excel in forensics. Forensics? What's that, like dead bodies and stuff? No, he means forensics, like public speaking and debate. Well, I hope. See, our team and other schools team meet and get a topic. Then we state our positions, then they rebut. Then they state their positions, then we rebut. Then they sum up, then we sum up. And whoever is still awake wins. <laughs> hello, hello? Yes. Well, tell Mr. Pallone if he will be back at 2. He can expect my call at 201. I hate insurance companies. These deadbeats never pay you on time, and they always have some lame excuse. By the way, Claire, uh, do you have my paycheck? It's in the mail. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. As soon as I get my check, you will get yours. Gotta run. Big Dad School. They're taking his class to see the Liberty Bell. Oh, Eddie, I can see why you're so excited. I mean, it's not every day you get to see a bell. Oh, no, it's more than that. It means freedom and independence. That's very good, honey. After I take a look at that stupid bell, I'll be off the clock. <laughs> No arithmetic, no spelling, I'll be free. Free, F-R-E, free. <laughs> We're seeing the Liberty Bell. <laughs> Liberty Bell weighs over eight tons. Just to put that into proper perspective, if the Liberty Bell were a cowbell, that cow would stand over 20 stories tall. Ah. All right, all right. Any questions? Any questions? Can I ring the bell? Oh, sure, kid. Go ahead. Give it your best shot. <clears throat> oh, that's so hard. You broke it. I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look inside there. You cracked it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry, kid. We'll just send the bill to your parents. <laughs> Oh, great. All right, we're going on to Independence Hall now, which houses the Declaration of Independence. If the Declaration of Independence were postage stamp, the envelope would be the size of, uh, I don't know, Rhode Island. <laughs> And statistics show that over 75% of guns are now owned by people who live in urban areas. All right, Matt, good job. Tomorrow, guys, I want you all to argue the opposite side. Great argument, Matt. Yeah, I felt like you reached out and grabbed me. I wanted to. <laughs> I mean, with my argument. You've got a lot of passion in you. You mean you can tell? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta let it out. You know, you really need to relax. Here, look, your neck is stiff. <laughs> and your shoulders are stiff. Well, I think the rest of me is okay, Miss Wagner. <laughs> call me Debbie. I call my professors at college by their first names. Anyway, you better get going or you're gonna miss your bus. Oh no, my bus. Oh, tell you what, I'll, I'll drop you off. Really? You mean like in your car? <laughs> yeah, maybe today it will actually start. Why don't you just have uh, your boyfriend fix it? Oh, that's a great idea, Matt. If I had a boyfriend. You know, uh, we own a garage. As long as you drop me off, why don't I have one of our mechanics tune up your car for you? For free. Oh, no, no, I, I couldn't let you do that. Resolved. Student teachers are underpaid. Therefore, you should let Roman Customizing tune up your car for no charge. How was that? Very persuasive. <laughs> you are a sweetheart, Matt. Oh, thanks. Debbie. Yes. Wait here, I'll get my best man right on it. Joe, you gotta help me. We gotta fix Debbie's car. Who's Debbie? 
My forensics teacher. I really want to make a good impression on her. Too late, pal. She's already met you. <laughs> I promised her a free tune-up, Joe. Free? No way. Oh, come on, Joe. This is really important to me. Look, I'm begging you, man. Oh, please. Oh, please. I swear I'll do anything. Really? So, uh, if I said quack like a duck, you would do that? Oh. Come on, Joe. Quack like a duck. <laughs> quack. Quack. Gee, you know, I didn't get the kick that I thought I would out of that. But a deal's a deal. Hi. You're Matt's teacher? Hi. Uh, Debbie Wagner. Joe Roman. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. So my uh, kid brother tells me you have a little bit of car trouble here. Sort of. Sometimes I have trouble getting it to start and run. It usually stops when I want it to, and then even when I don't. <laughs> hey, Matt, do you know that this car is older than you are? Hey, let's talk more work. This is awfully nice of you. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me about two hours and you can come pick the car up or I'll drop it off anywhere that you want. Well, how about that spaghetti place on uh, Chestnut and 3rd? I mean, I can at least buy you dinner if you're sure I can't pay you for fixing my car. Oh, that sounds great. I, I mean, it's our new policy. Free tune-ups. Great. Um, <laughs> how about 8 then? Matt, <laughs> you are such a pal. I can't thank you enough for this. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Man, the things I do for you. Roman customizing. Yeah, bring it in. We'll even throw in a free tune-up. Yes, I think it's generous too, but apparently it's our new policy. Hey, look at you, hot date. Yeah, Matt's teacher. He talked me into giving her car a free tune-up so she's taking me out to dinner. You know, Matt, you can't buy an A. Tell that to Vanna White. So, that was the Liberty Bell. Cool, huh? Actually, I was kind of disappointed. It looks kind of cheap. It is cheap, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a national treasure. You can't put a price on the Liberty Bell. <laughs> oh, great, now the faucet's leaking. One more bill and we will be out on the street. You cracked that. <laughs> Mom, listen. I've got almost $8 in my piggy bank. Honey, it's okay. I was just kidding. We will be fine as long as nothing big breaks. <laughs> Can I be excused? The fugitive is on. This time I better pay attention. Strange kid. Mind if I eat his french fries? Here. Take mine. Take my meatloaf, too. But don't stop there. Take my shirt. Take my room. Take the air out of my lungs, open my mouth, and rip out my feelings. Take everything I ever had or wanted. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, thanks for dropping me off. Well, thanks for fixing my car. Well, thanks for dinner. Well, thanks for coming. <laughs> Eventually, we're gonna have to stop thanking each other. You're right. I might just have to thank you one more time. This is great. We really should do this again sometime soon. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. See ya. Matt! Oh, Matt. Debbie is great, man. I am so glad that you brought her in. Debbie always says that when you get angry, you lose your argument. So right now, I want to be very, very calm and make my points. Because this is one argument I'm not going to lose. Point one. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I go first and make my points. Then you get to rebut. Got it? Okay, you're resolved. You shouldn't date Debbie anymore. Wait a minute. I thought that you liked Debbie. Oh, Matt, you mean you really like her? Why come you didn't say something? Point one. The age factor. You and Debbie are the same age, and women reach their sexual peak ten years later than men. <laughs> Point two. No, no, no. You know what, Matt? It's my turn, all right? Now, I'm not listening to you because, A, you're acting like a twerp, all right? And point two, well, point two is the same as A, except substitute jerk for twerp. <laughs> hey, I just won. <laughs> this debate stuff is pretty easy, Matt. <laughs> Look. 
Just tell me you won't see Debbie anymore, okay? What are you, nuts, Matt? She likes me, I, I like her, of course I'm gonna see her again. I can't believe you just stab me in the back like this. Me? Hey, Matt, you begged me to help her out, okay? I mean, Matt, you even quack like a duck, bro. <laughs> you didn't tell me that you liked her? What, was I supposed to read your mind, assuming you have one? It's like, get out of here, you little rebut head. <laughs> She likes me, man. She told me. Oh, come on, Matt. She's four years older than you are. Where the heck would you take her on your first date, huh? Homeroom? <laughs> Fine. Forget it. You know what? You can have her. I'll just quit forensics. Okay. I mean it. Great. I'll mention it to Debbie. I'm going to see her again tomorrow. You better not. I mean, you can't. Oh, man. I'll also tell you you need to work on your debating skills. 